What was great advice 20 years ago, but definitely isn't now? To look after your phone battery you should let it go all the way down to zero and then charge fully to 100. I remember when my dad told me as a teenager to never be the one to pursue a guy because I'm a woman. Maybe that was to keep me safe in my youth, but I've since come to realize that most of the dudes who are worth being with are either shy or oblivious, and I have no choice but to make the first move. You need to memorize this cause you won't have the info accessible later. I was ready to answer this until I realized 20 years ago was 2002 and not 1992. You're searching for a soulmate on the internet? Lord you must be insane. Don't forget to print out your directions from MapQuest before you leave. Generic dating advice. By that how sure it seems weird that you qualified for such a high home loan but I'm sure they wouldn't offer it to you if you couldn't afford it. 20 years ago don't meet up with people you met on the internet and don't get in cars with strangers. Today get into the car with a stranger that you've summoned to your house using the internet. Stay at the same company for long periods they show no loyalty or keep up in pay rises. If you want pay increase and promotion best to swap company every 1-3 years. Spending whole day on the internet would never make you successful in life. Get an ARM loan on your house values go up like 10-20 each year and by the time the load adjusts, flip that house for a sweet profit. When you dial collect on the pay phone, just say where you are, what time you need a ride then hang up as not to get charged. Stay away from the guy walking down the street having a full conversation with nobody. Now it's just AirPods. Everyone needs a college degree. Trade school is absolutely the way to go for some people, myself included. And I did both. If you ever travel back in time, don't touch anything. Walk in, ask for the manager and give a firm handshake. That's how you get the job. These days, you can walk in, ask for the manager and he'll direct you to apply online. Then you won't get any response, or you'll get one six months later when HR turns over and the new guy gets around to denying everyone who applied. In high school as part of one of my classes they brought in a lady who worked HR for some recruiting firm for a few days to teach us how to do resumes and cover letters and such and she told us even if a place has an option to apply online always go in person and pick up an application no one takes online application seriously. If you want a job, just walk into the place. You won't always have a calculator in your pocket. Never meet someone from the internet. You can rest when you are dead, in my opinion the grind culture is harmful and leads to a lot of physical and mental illness. Stress-induced illnesses have never been as bad as it is right now. Burnouts have never been as high as they are now. Mental health is plummeting. I understand that in some countries you have no choice but to grind to survive, but in developed countries I do not think society should encourage that mentality. Stress is a disease and this society is sick. My dad told me once, son you shouldn't schedule a single vacation day the first year of your job. It shows you're committed. TIL most people forget 20 years ago was 2002 and not 1982. A lot of the points raised were not true 20 years ago. Edit my second ever award. Thank you kind person. That a good education would guarantee high playing jobs. High school is some of the best years of your life. Yeah, I might have believed that bullshit back then, but having lived an actual life between then and now, high school was nowhere near my best years. Why don't you call up local business and ask if they are hiring? Go to college or you'll end up broke. If your TV isn't working, try hitting it. Just go to the mall and hand out your resume. If she says no, just be persistent you'll wear her down eventually. Take your money and put it in a high interest savings account. Sure thing, should I be getting 0.5 interest or 0.8 interest on that? 
you have to learn how to do this because you can't expect to walk around with a calculator in your pocket for the rest of your life. This was real advice when I was in college what degree you get doesn't matter employers just want to know that you can stick with it for four years. Get a master's degree and you can become a professor. Right now, you are lucky to be an adjunct. PhD is the new master's for academia. Walk in and give them an application. Managers like it when you go in and introduce yourself and drop off your resume and fill out an application in person. Just surprise them and show up in a nice suit. Plastics. Well maybe more like 50 years ago. Just find you a job you like and stick with it. Doesn't work nowadays. Maximize salary, minimize family style work environment. Getting a diploma will secure your life. Go to college to get a good job. Margarine is better for you than butter. Be loyal to your employer, because they will be loyal to you. I was going to say if you visit New York, definitely stop at Windows on the World. But apparently it's been 21 years since 9-11, so even 20 years ago this would have been pretty shitty advice. Rent is so cheap why would you want to buy a house? I love how half of these comments still think that the 80s or 90s were 20 years ago news flash 20 years ago was 2002 and the other half have the same problem in the opposite direction Facebook didn't exist until 2004, Twitter 2006, Bitcoin 2009. Never get into a stranger's car. Now we have Uber. Be persistent with women. If she's not interested keep trying. You're never gonna have a calculator, dictionary and an encyclopedia all in your pocket.